Well, I think if you look at the biggest hurdles today for the green transition in Europe, I mainly see two. Huh? The first hurdle is that the climate skeptics are changing their rhetoric. They're no longer in the state of pure denial as in the past, because everybody can see what's happening, uh, warming up, etc. But they're now trying to discourage any effort to do something about it, saying it's not human behavior, it's the sun or it's the Chinese or whatever we do, it's only 0 0.00005 degrees Celsius, etc. So you need a strong rhetoric to oppose that, a counter narrative for that. That's one key hurdle. The second hurdle challenge I see is that the climate issue gets really mixed up with social economic inequality. You saw that clearly in France with the Yellow Vest movement was a revolt against biofuel taxes. So basically people in the countryside above all saying, well, climate is a project for the elites. Uh, we need our cars. We, we live in this different space and we want to be part of this story. So that is really important in climate policies in the years ahead that that social economic dimension and equality is taken into account because otherwise you may feed really a popular backlash against climate policies.